Hello, hello. You have found your way to the Brevis Talk podcast, where our message is eternal, but our delivery isn't quite that long. Brief and encouraging. That's our goal. Now, here's your host, Pastor Wayne Whiteside. Let us consider today the witness of the Holy Spirit. The ministry of the Holy Spirit is that He convicts, He convinces, and He confirms. What do I mean by that? I mean, first of all, He convicts us of our sin. He shows us our undoneness. He works through our conscience. Now, the Bible warns us about those who have a conscience that has been seared by a hot iron, a hard heart. But the Holy Spirit of God can get through a hard heart. Jeremiah talked about the Word of God, which is the scalpel of the Holy Spirit, like a hammer hitting upon a rock, relentlessly pounding and pounding and pounding. The Holy Spirit can get through our lives and get to our conscience. He is able to do that which no man can do. We are not one to Jesus Christ by persuasive words of man's wisdom, by cute little sayings, by wit, by the duress of the force of the arm. The Bible says in the Old Testament, not by might or power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. And so we see that the Spirit of God is a convicting force in our lives. Not only does he convict, convict us of our undoneness, convict us of our sin, he convinces us of the reality of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ came on a mission to seek and to save that which was lost. The Holy Spirit convinces us of Jesus. He convinces us that Christ died on the cross for our sins. He convinces us that Jesus was buried for our sins. And he convinces us that Jesus Christ rose from the dead for our sins. We are convicted, and then the ministry of the Holy Spirit convinces us, and then he confirms to us, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord will be saved, Romans 10, chapter chapter 10, verse 13 says. And so we are confirmed. 1 John 5, 13 says that these things were written, that those who believe on the name of the Son of God may know that they're saved. You can have a no-so faith. You can know that you're headed to heaven. You can know that your sins are forgiven. You can know that you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to you. You should have a no-so salvation. The Holy Spirit of God confirms. Many years ago, I was witnessing to a young man who had a great problem with this. He said, I'm just not sure if I'm a Christian or not. And I showed him what the Word of God says was required of him. Do you believe? Have you called upon the Lord? Have you repented of your sins? Or were you sincere in all this? Yes, yes. And I knew that I could not and did not need to try to step in and overstep, if you will, the work of God. And so I stepped back and I prayed for him. I prayed for him day after day after day. And then one day he came to me and he said, you know, God has revealed to me that I am a Christian. And it was the work of the Holy Spirit. And he has walked with God for a number of years now. And it is the Spirit of God confirming. No man has a right to tell another man that he is saved based upon what you think you see is outer evidence. The Holy Spirit of God and the Holy Spirit of God alone convicts us, He convinces us, and He confirms to us. That is the ministry of the Holy Spirit in our salvation. Thanks for stopping by to be with us at the Brevis Talk podcast. If you want to know more about us or hear other brief messages, go to brevistalk.com and sign up to receive our blog and updates while you're there. Don't forget, Jesus loves you.